Hello, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in nature, spontaneous order that surrounds us all. The supreme irony is that a few political parasites without use, without purpose, deciding what businesses are essential and what are not is the supreme irony. The state does not produce anything. The state consumes. The state does not create. The state only destroys. Why is this? Because the state is fundamentally the initiation of force. The state is coercion at its core. A law is an opinion with a gun. Anything done by coercion and force is worthless, is destructive, is counterproductive. Creativity and imagination only flourish in freedom, freedom of thought, freedom of action, freedom to create. Never has there been works of art, technological progress, advancement in medicine, robotics, architecture, engineering, Never has any of that occurred that has been of any use to humanity at a point of a gun. No. Once you introduce coercion into the equation, all value dissipates as if you were touching the delicate, fragile, wings of a butterfly. It is only in the midst of true, unconditional freedom that the enormous wealth that we are surrounded by has been able to be achieved. And if humanity has reached such dizzying levels of prosperity, it is not because of the state. It is thoroughly in spite of the state. There will always be parasitic bureaucrats and plundering politicians, vexing, irritating the lives of productive, ingenious, and creative individuals. Those people that are attracted to positions of power, first of all, are sick, mentally ill people. Because most people that you know in your daily life, most people that you interact with, are good people. Most people are good people. Most people live by the non-aggression principle. Most people understand that you do not acquire assets. You do not acquire things through coercion, through pointing a gun at somebody, through sticking a knife in someone's ribs. Most people understand that you acquire things through voluntary trade, through transactions, through gifting. There are three ways that we can interact with each other. The first way is charity, giving, inheritance. The second way is the economic way, trade, purchasing items through, from businesses. And the third way is the mafia way, is the application of violence and coercion. Which way do you think the state utilizes to obtain its resources. 
No, the state is in no place to determine which businesses are essential and which businesses are not essential. Indeed, one can say that the entire state is non-essential. <laughs> but then some people say, well, what about some people who would do bad things to others? Who would put them in their place? Who would keep them in check if it weren't for the state, if it weren't for law enforcement? And I would say everyone who has a reasonable mind and who understands simple morality will put them in their place. Because no person in the absence of a law enforcement officer, in the absence of political authority, no person would allow other people to trample on their civil liberties because they are inherent to us all without question. So if you were to teach these principles to others, you must first live them, you must embody them, you must be an example for others to see, to witness. You must be an example for your children to witness. If we want to leave the world safer, healthier, happier, we must raise the next generation to be peaceful, loving, compassionate, kind and caring. We must raise them with a sense, a deep sense of conscience, of inner morality. And in that way, they will never be led astray. They will never be duped or deceived by political crooks with their forked tongues and their wicked words. In the words of Frederick Douglass, former slave, it is easier to raise strong children than it is to repair broken adults. Thank you very much. This is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Enjoy nature. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peacefulanarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.